Hey everybody, welcome back. Still working on the 48 Ford IMC convertible here. And I had to get a reference car here, the uh, uh, Ravel 48 Ford, which you just don't get any better than that, but um, the Ravel kit is just so wonderful. But again, my purpose is to experience what someone would have experienced in 1965. So, my dilemma now is the chrome issue. Um, so, the chrome is... Mm, it, it, there's not any. So, there's no chrome. So, with this car, you have chrome trim. And you can, you know, it's, it's raised, right? Here, and up on the door. And then you get to this, and there's nothing there's there is a uh, crease and on the body there's a little bitty line but there is nothing nothing so what I was suggested several I, I got a lot of suggestions um, but the one I think I'm going to try at least is I've got some of this let me find it Where did the package go this uh, evergreen um, little round rod little bitty round rod not little bitty enough but you can sand it down so I've got some here and I think what I'm going to try is to actually glue it into place where the chrome would would have been like on here and then up in here and uh, glue it in and then sand it and see how it turns out that way I have something to bear to put my bare metal foil on I think that would be better than the chrome stickers or in my case I was just going to bare metal foil it and I don't want to do that so I think I'm going to try this I've just gave the body a heavy sanding now that I've got these parts glued on it's a really nice sanding something so that um, that styrene will, will uh, adhere hopefully even even stronger and quicker with a uh, scuffed up surface but I'm using the brown um, 48 here for a reference to where I need to have my chrome but anyway that's where I'm at now thanks for coming back guys and watching this video hey if you hadn't subscribed go over and hit that subscription button go ahead and get that out of the way um, go go hit that subscription button check out Hobby Nut Models the Teespring store um, uh, the Facebook group and my patreon page thank you to my patreons that's what I'd like to do first off in this video is just say thank you to you guys. Um, I don't have a huge support base yet, but thank you to you guys who have went over to the Patreon page and subscribed, or um, at least not subscribed, but uh, joined, and I'll try to continue to get you behind the scenes content. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for your, your, uh, your support. All right, so let me try to get some of the styrene glued on, and I will be right back. Stand by. All right, so I've got some progress made here. It doesn't look like it, and it's taken a long time. But if you'll notice where there was no chrome trim, now there is. So, again, I took the advice of you guys who said get the really small styrene. This is actually round. Um, this I've already sanded this side down to flatten it, and it... it's working out pretty good so as you can see because the uh, 48 Ford Ravel it really it, it protrudes a, quite a bit so it is uh, it's gonna work out good I think so you got this side that has been sanded some I'm not done with it that in the front and the back and I just put this on so you can see here that it sticks out quite a bit more so I'm just working on that to try and get it. Uh, th these weren't too bad. Uh, they're easy to sand. Now the ones that I have to do um, are, are they go up here. So it goes up up here and it goes across the doors. It's going to be a little more difficult to sand because to try and get in there and sand it without. 
um, sand in the body. That's what I'm. That's what I'm afraid of. But anyway, it is coming along very slowly. I hadn't done anything since the last clip except work on these, and this is not the. Um, this is like two days later. I worked on it a little bit the next day, and uh, now I, I've got. This is a. Uh, this is Friday evening working on it some more so I'm gonna continue on see if we can get the, at least get this chrome uh, molding on here before the end of this video stand by all right here we go so I've got I succeeded I feel like I succeeded at least with uh, getting chrome added to the body and then sanding it down because it's round and I didn't want it round I wanted it somewhat just raised so I got the um, got the, everything has its molding now the doors however because the ha door handle goes um, in I had to you have to leave a piece out so I don't know how this is going to end up looking now I've run into another problem and that problem is the uh, trim in the grill, the chrome trim. And I probably won't be able to do this holding the camera. So the chrome trim on these, let me see if I can show you my dad's. See, it goes under. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. Let me lay it down. So it goes under, do you see that plastic lip right there? Like a mustache? Well, this piece of chrome, the, the way they have it, it just fits under it. So actually, this, this piece, I wish I could get it in there. Anyway, it looks, it doesn't look right. Because I've got right here, the Revell and it, so what I'm about to do is probably ruin this thing, but I've got the die or the Dremel out, and my goal here is to uh, oh boy, to remove some of this right here so that this emblem will fit in that. And I'll be able to raise this up. Well, I can't raise it up much because the darn. It will. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I want to get it up a little higher. I don't like it. It sits down. It, it go, actually goes between two of the ribs. Right here. And then you. It just doesn't look right. So I'm going to do something. Again, I'll probably mess it up and end up having to put this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Boy, would that look ridiculous. But anyway, put that grill in it for the custom. But yeah, this thing is a bear, a bear or a beast or a, a pain in the rear. So I'm doing my best though. It's just taking a really long time, especially the chrome. Just to be able to, uh, you know, to get the chrome on it. Didn't even have any. But I have got it now. So I think it's... I think it's pretty cool that I'm going to be able to uh, actually actually be able to run some chrome on it. I'm happy with that. Also, with the multi-piece body, like I said before, the carpet or the rubber mat or carpet area, it's going to have to be painted with the body. That goes along with like the... Okay, so the doors are obviously body color, but I have to paint them with the door panels already attached. Um... Which is fine because I don't want to attach something and uh, glue get glue all over my. That's why I like to do try to fit as many parts and glue them together as possible and then paint. But I had to go ahead and install the dash, which shouldn't be installed until after you put the doors on. So I had to do a little bit of modifying on that, but I think it's going to turn out looking fine. Um, so I got to get the paint here on this chassis. I got to get the engine painted. Um, all the little wheel backings and all that stuff but my main concern right now is this 
um, this mustache area right here. So I'm about to uh, bust off the Dremel and we shall see. So stand by. Okay, so I feel like I had some success here um, with the grill. <laughs> let me let me find. I have an old specimen over here. Let me grab it. Actually, actually, it's the original. You know what? What in the heck? Huh? I want you to look at this. I didn't even realize. Here is the original and guess what it is cut out holy cow okay so something with the newer kit they changed wow I did not know that I didn't even realize it okay so you can see I cut out where that um, piece of chrome can go up in there where it was like solid which was weird but if you and, and I also trimmed a bunch right here to open this up so that chrome piece would go up higher but I want you to look at the original it's already got the cutout and it also has more space that is crazy because this is I do see differences though. Now this, I think this possibly is the testers. The color of it reminds me of the testers. It's lighter. This is more yellow. This is more lighter. But little things like, let me show you. Granted, this is the original. Okay, so the molds are brand new. But if you'll notice right here, you have some defined, like it's raised right there. Like that piece of chrome sticks out right here. But on this one, it's just kind of blended in it doesn't even really it doesn't even really look the same see look at them side by side here that's really crazy and for me to have to cut out this darn front section and for the old one to already have it notched out huh Alright, so hold on. I'm about to get down a tester's kit and a another IMC kit and we're going to check this out. So stand by. Now, I totally understand this is not a comparison video. I just This is something that I just saw and I've got to find out. Now, this, this, is, this is different. Okay. So, my observation is this. Okay, so just to start off with, this is the tester's kit out of this tester's box. This is the IMC kit out of this box. The color is different. The 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 you have the darker yellow, the lighter yellow for the testers. But on this one, you do have the defined raised edges here, but you don't have this. So here here again is the one that I started with. It's cut let me get it to focus. It's cut out for the trim to fit. And this one's not. I am confused. So maybe what has what it is is. No, I'm gonna get another kit down. Stand by. Okay, so here's another kit. I know this one's old because it's got that old cellophane still on the top box. Oh, there's the chrome stuck in there. I'm thinking that possibly, yep, yeah, I'm. I think I might be right here. Okay, so if you'll notice, this um, this one has it cut out, so the trim would look normal. It would go up. It would go up. It would fit in there nicely, and it wouldn't look like it was missing a rib or had too many. And again, this is the original. This is an I would I would dare to say this is a 1965 as well as this one. And then something went haywire and they changed. Because this IMC kit looks like this tester's kit. It doesn't have the cutout. 
it was pretty cheesy because I'll show you my dad's the way you did it you just kind of stuck you just kind of stuck the chrome on it and it and it and it didn't fit right see it didn't go back in it and it stuck out not to mention that it went down and practically touched the first rib or the first part of the grill so there is a there are differences something changed again I don't know what but anyway crazy to find something like that it no what's more crazy is that I spend literally an hour if not longer trimming and trimming and trimming and trimming on this to make it look like that and if I if I would have would have even realized it man that really stinks but anyway I got this and done that hey good news guys I got this one just like this one and didn't even know it was supposed it, it used to be that way but it's, it is peculiar that that they changed the mold but that's the way it goes all right so let me get all this stuff put back together and uh, I want to shoot a bit of primer be right back All right, got some paint, uh, paint, uh, well, this paint, got some primer on this thing, uh, just to try and see what I need to do, and honestly, it looks pretty doggone good, considering I do see a reaction, however, with the, uh, primer on this paint, I don't know if you can, do you ever have those reactions where it looks rough in places, um, I'll give that a nice sanding once this thing's totally cured out. So what I was wanting to see is what does my chrome look like? Is it too still sticking out too far? Um, honestly, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell until you get the uh, bare metal foil on it. I like here's the doors. They're upside down, but let me see if I can get one without it falling off. There's the chrome, you know, on the door. Dang, this thing's crazy. I, I don't know. It, here's the hood. So what do you think about that? You know, it's like, it looks, I think it looks pretty good. I don't think it's too defined. I mean, yes, it's defined. Like, okay. It's really defined. But what I'm saying is, is it, does it look ridiculous because it wouldn't have had any and so I've added it but anyway I'm just rambling on here I don't know after it's completely cured out I'll probably I don't know maybe put some foil on a spot just to see what it it looks like um, with the foil if it needs to be sanded down even closer um, I don't want to defeat the purpose put it on there and then sand it all the way back down to nothing um, I did scribe panel lines in the trunk where because it's a two piece body it's like it don't really have any panel lines and I tried to scribe some in there it looks okay also got ahead of myself and forgot to glue the darn windshield on there and I went ahead and primed this but that's no problem it's just primer so I've got to glue the uh, get the windshield on set on it and uh, shoot a coat of primer on that too but I've, so so what I've done is I found out that so far that these that there's differences in the IMC testers well actually in the within the IMC kits there's differences within in the grill um, 
and that I actually did exactly what they had done previously. I don't know why they changed that. That's kind of weird to me why they changed it. Uh, but I did that. Got primer on here. Um, again, I still got to paint the chassis. But let me let me let you look at this. This is a really nice, um, very nicely detailed chassis. It's got. It would have had um, steerable wheels or working, you know, posable steering. I don't like that. I like my stuff to be like rock solid. I don't want it to move. But it's got sway bars and all kind of. Uh, it's got really detailed just it looks it's a great looking kit it really is the most aggravating kit that I've ever worked on but again what what am I doing this for is it to get something that I can throw together no it's I want to experience what my dad would have experienced back in 1965 building one of these things um, yeah so that that's kind of what, what my goal is not to again have not for it to be a reveal it, it doesn't just you don't shake the box and open it up and it's put together this one really take is taking a lot of effort so anyway i think it's fun i think it's uh it's enjoyable to be able to do that um, again just want to know what it's like to uh live in the 60s as a kid building a model kit i've got way more stuff probably as far as supplies goes than they would have back then but yeah, who cares you know I'm, I'm having fun doing it so anyway guys thanks for watching this video it's going to be part two I told you this video is going to be several parts so part two i don't want these to be too long um thanks for watching this if you haven't subscribed already please go hit the subscription button as well as go check out the facebook group um, the facebook group is a great resource for all kinds of interesting things concerning the model car uh uh, topic if you ever have any questions or anything like that you can just throw that question into the into the Facebook group and I guarantee you're gonna get plenty of great responses so go check out our Facebook group model car videos Facebook group linked in the description below uh, as well as hobby nut models um, go over to Mark's website hobby nut models and uh, check out his inventory go check yourself out some of that great MCW paint uh, that I'm going to put on this car and uh, yeah, he's got kits too, supplies, anything you need. Um, don't forget to go to the Teespring store and grab yourself a t-shirt, a coffee mug, a hoodie, a sticker, any of those cool things over there. And if so, if you so choose, go check out the Patreon page and you can uh, become a Patreon and get some behind the scenes type of uh, little footage that you won't get here on YouTube. Um, going to try and do some neat things with my Patreons uh, uh, soon, soon, very soon. I want to do maybe a, a private live chat or something like that with those guys. But anyway, uh, hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't want to ramble on anymore. Don't want to take any more of your time. Thanks for watching this. And when we come back, we'll try to get some more parts uh, together. But yet, I want to get some paint on this thing. I've got a cool color. I'm going to paint it. And um, yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching, guys. You all take care and we will see you on the next one.